I live on a boat, and so you you, you have to monitor all of your um, all of your uh, like your electricity, your water, your everything. So you don't have a, a like you don't have a washer on your boat, obviously. So then this is why these places are golden to the boating community um, because I mean you. Do your washing. I mean, like it just sounds simple. It's just part of everyday life. Like people ask you if you if you're not a boater, they'll be like, "Oh, like what do you do about a toilet? What do you do about your washing?" I mean, like I can tell you about the toilet, but um, this is how we do our washing. I will visit different ones depending where I am. So I um, I'm over in Victoria Park at the moment. This is my favourite. Um, laundrette around Victoria Park and so I put all my clothes into a wheelbarrow and like bring them along, uh, walk into the park, like people will give you a few licks. Um, but no, like yeah, this is, this is, I come, I come here because of, uh, we're not on first name terms. I know, I'm Juliana. Juliana, I'm Tim. Lovely. Um, and. Oh, we've been chatting a lot. Yeah. Aren't we? <laughs> chatting about yeah, you you get to you, like it's wonderful to get to um, build little relationships. But I suppose um, I mean I've got no idea what goes on the laundrette when I'm not here. Does everyone have the same like nice like chattiness? Like it's funny you always you always wonder Pretty much, yeah. what the world's like when you're not there. Because I I'm I'm a hairdresser and sometimes you have it where like you will cut someone's hair and you're like, man, I'm not in for this conversation. And other times you'll get like you a great conversation. People. You get um, to know people. Yeah, because you, in, in the same way as like, if I'm in someone's hair and physical space, like there's a, there's a real kind of like closeness from that social grooming and, and, and like similarly when you're, when you're in people's knickers, like all all the boundaries are all the boundaries are gone, aren't they? They are um, no boundaries. Like you must have seen a a wealth of um, interesting. Stains. What happens in Bow Wash <laughs> stays in Bow Wash. Um, I imagine some things are confidential even. Um, but uh, I like. It's funny, I like to do my own washing still. Like it there's a nice kind of um there's a nice kind of like self care routine over it. Like getting your things and it's one of my favourite days actually. Like when you have just a shitload of dirty washing and then going back tonight and everything's gonna be clean and wonderful and you get variety back in your life because suddenly you can pick any one of your items of clothing and they're all clean. Every single any one. Any pair of pants. Any pair of pants. Um, and this is, this is hilarious. See, guys, I told you he's the best. <laughs> I told you he's the best. So, um, like, I, like, it's actually interesting. So, um, like, today I was down to, like, my absolute nothing. For the last week, even, I've been kind of like picking things up and like, oh fuck man, am I going to wear that? Am I going to go into this combo? I was like, you can bleep that out. When you're getting down to kind of like your last bits and you're kind of like putting together outfits and you're like, uh, uh, uh. this was literally like my last outfit. This is the shirt which I haven't actually worn out of the house because like I have like pretty much hated it ever since I bought it. It was a TK Maxx buy, and um, I, I was like, I was like feeling excitable in the shop. I was going to a festival. I didn't have anything to wear. I was going with my friend. I felt the pressure of like, man, I've got to pop some colour in my life because actually I've been wearing too much black. I've been wearing a lot of black, which is a power colour for me. It's how I, it's how I, yeah, it's how I get stuff done. So then, yeah, I was like, colourful shirt for me. And today's the first day that I've worn it, my very last thing that I could possibly wear because everything else had been worn maybe twice, some three times, and you, no, not three times. <laughs> Only shirts, there's a good denim shirt which is a little bit baggy, and you can, you can wear that three times. 
even in the summer heat, and it's forgiving. If you're a voter. <laughs> I think that we live in a society which is over obsessed by cleanliness and over judgmental. So I think um, human smells are actually extremely interesting because um, they help you connect with your tribe. However, we're masking that quite a lot. So there's a, there's a very interesting guy who, I don't, like he, he's a scientist and a doctor and he changed his career path when he had slept with a lady and picked up her bad smell. And he was like, what's going on here? He's like, I've never been a bad smelling person before. And like, like part of his um, journey took him into, into kind of like looking at how you can catch somebody else's smell. And if it's a body odor that you don't particularly like on yourself, like that's a real bad thing. So he was, um, he was uh, painting his house. And when you're painting and things get dirty, um, yeah, you like it, he was just like, sorry, I'm just gonna be stinky. I'm just gonna wear the same t-shirt. I'm only gonna bring in one of my t-shirts with all these paint splatters. And so, at the end of the week, he'd gone catatonic, but literally catatonic to the point where his new smell that he new bad smell that he'd caught off this chick suddenly like killed itself because it had kind of yeah got to a catatonic stage so like he he was now like this fascinated scientist all about like body smell i remember i remember um yeah my first relationship and it was early days and we were sitting in nando's across from each other and he uh, he obviously had something to tell me which wasn't like particularly great and i was just like you know what i'm just here but like i i don't want to hear it right now but then finally it was like okay what is it? And he was like, oh, I'd like, I slept with someone else, but it's made me realise how much this actually means to me. And kind of like, was ready for this big kind of, like, I don't know, this big kind of like, uh, thing for me. And I was like, dude, I'm not going to act like someone who you've seen on TV in this reaction. I'm like, like, thanks for telling me. If it happens again, then like, like, obviously, you've got a problem. Um, but like, I think we often learn so much now from TV and the way that we actually react to things because like, we don't always get to talk to our elders about situations which uh, feel very kind of like new to us and like I've like, grown, grown up as queer and like, I don't have that relationship with my elders getting to talk about relationships so like navigating spaces, I think a lot of us navigate spaces with the relativity of however your favourite characters do things on TV and, and like, I, like, I just think we have to start bringing each other back into reality and kind of like caring for each other and like letting people understand that, um, yeah, the, the, bring people back into the tribe. Like, we need to find our tribe again. We need to bring each other back in. COVID's been, um, I can only talk about the, um, the groups that I'm in. It was a time when a lot of people really looked inside um, and did a lot of soul searching. A lot of us before then, like, had, had like, big questions on our minds. Like, like, it feels very symptomatic of of a very ill environment and I think it's called a lot of us into action and the feeling that we must empower ourselves now to make changes because when the world's feeling lost and the world's feeling scared then like that's a time when either someone else can come and take control or we get to stand next to each other and like and start reforming things. Start thinking about things that just make common sense. Looking at your locality, like looking just with the people who are next to you, having the conversations, like, like this will be the moment where we all felt we lost connection and 
we have to remind each other to yearn for it and connect back strongly um, because that's the lesson that's there to be made, that it's about connection.